Abu Muhammad Muslihuddin bin Abdullah Shirazi, better known by his pen name Sadi, also known as Sadi of Shiraz, was a major Persian poet and literary of the medieval period. Sadi is widely recognized as one of the greatest poets of the classical literary tradition. Earning him the nickname Master of Speech, Ustad e Sukhan, or the Master among Persian scholars. <laughs> He has been quoted in the Western traditions as well. In Gulistan, composed in 1258, he says in lines evidently addressed to himself, O oh, you who have lived 50 years and are still asleep. Another piece of evidence is that in one of his Qasida poems, he writes that he left home for foreign lands when the Mongols came to his homeland or his father died when he was a child. He narrates memories of going out with his father as a child during festivities. After leaving Shiraz, he enrolled at the Nizamiya University in Baghdad, where he studied Islamic sciences, law, governance, history, Arabic literature and Islamic theology. It appears that he had a scholarship to study there. In the Gulistan, he tells us that he studied under the scholar Abul Farj ibn al Josi, who died in 1238. In the Bustan and Gulistan, Saadi tells many colorful anecdotes of his travels, although some of these, such as a spoused visit, he mentioned the Qadis, Muftis, and Al Azhar, the Grand Bazaar, music, and art. Saadi visited Jerusalem and then set out on a pilgrimage to Mecca and Medina. It is believed that he may have also visited Oman and other lands. in the south of the arabian peninsula he finally returns to persia where he meets his childhood companions in isfahan and other cities at khurasan sadi befriend a turkic amir named tughra sadi joins him and his men on their journey to sin where he meets pir putter a follower of the persian sufi grand master Sheikh Osman Marwandwi he also refers in his writings about his travel with a turkic emir named Tughrul in Sindh Pakistan across the Indus and Thar India especially Somala where he encounters Barhamas and central asia where he meets the survivors of the Mughal invasions in Khwarezm Saadi is invited to Delhi and later visits the Wazir of Gujarat. During his stay in Gujarat, Saadi learns more about Hindus and visits the large temple of Somnath, from which he flees due to an unpleasant encounter with the Brahmans. Saadi came back to Shiraz. He finished composition of his Busta. Saadi's best known works are Bustan completed in 1257. and Gulistan completed in 1258 Bustan is entirely in verse it consists of stories aptly illustrating the standard virtues recommended to muslims just as liberality modesty contentment and reflections on the behavior of their wishes and their ecstatic practices Gulistan is mainly contains stories and personal anecdotes. The text is which is a variety of short poems which contains aphorisms, advice and humorous reflections demonstrating Saadi's profound awareness of the absurdity of human existence. The fate of those who depend on the changeable moves of kings contrasted with the freedom of the dervishes. Saadi is also remembered as a panegyrist and lyricist, the author of a number of odes portraying human experience and also of 
particular oaths such as the lament on the fall of Baghdad after the Mongol invasion in 1258. His lyrics are found in Ghazal Yad and his oaths in Qasaid. He is also known for a number of works in Arabic. Saadi is well known for his aphorism, the most famous of Bani Adam. Is part of the Gulistan in a delicate way calls for breaking down all barriers between human beings. Some of Saadi's most famous panegyrics were composed as gesture of gratitude in praise of the ruling house and blessed at the beginning of his bosta. The remainder of Saadi's life seems to have been spent in Shiraz. The traditional day for Saadi's death is between 1291 and 1294.